Hey, what's up you guys? We are hanging out here on the Fearless Friends Tour and I ran into a couple of my friends. Could you guys personally introduce yourself to our viewers? Yeah, I'm Tarsi. I sing for the band Artist vs. Poet. I'm Joe Kay. I play guitar for the band Artist vs. Poet. At the end of the day, who do you think would win in a fight? An artist wielding a massive painting canvas like a baseball bat what? or a poem or poet beating his opponent with hard textbooks and razor sharp pens? Ooh. I'm gonna have to go with the poet because the pins are probably gonna be sharp to the jugular. He yeah. might bleed to death. Uh, and this big piece of cardboard, it's not gonna cut it. I'm just gonna get a couple of knots in the head, right? No, I'm gonna go with the artist because I because I hate you. So we got the artist versus the poet. Uh <laughs> what is artist versus poet? What are you guys about? What is your music about? And what do your fans mean to you guys? It's really because of the fans that were here and uh, the music it's just we want to relate to people we want to like impact people's lives whether that be through the lyrics or just listening to the music so um, that's kind of our our gist of the band you guys are pretty young right I mean we're all we're all young men here what are some of the biggest challenges of being on the road all the time of doing this for a career it can't be easy What's, ah! someone is really messed with you <laughs> Brian's ass okay what you, you jumped there. Yeah, that scared yeah, me. I'm not gonna lie. Us, huh? I said, is there is there anything about this that sucks? Like having oh, uh, uh, bandmates, I guess, who always mess with you, right? No, just probably, we we just got off Warp Tour, and uh, we were in a bus then, and now we're back to a van, and just the other guys that are in buses, which there's four on this tour, uh, rubbing it in our faces that we're back into a van. <laughs> That's probably the hardest thing. Yeah. That sucks. So who's the best driver in the group? What I consider best driver is the one that can go the longest. Um, and we've done pretty good, except for Joe, our drummer. He drives it like hour and a half at a time, and then he gets tired and he goes to sleep. Behind the wheel, we've gotten three wrecks, we've gone through four vans. What do you think your, your kids will think of all this when you're growing up? Have you thought about maybe what you'll think of this in the future? They're probably going to be very disappointed. <laughs> I thought you guys were good. Decisions. Uh, no, I mean, I would hope that, you know, when that day comes that they would be proud, you know? I mean... I think it's a cool thing if, if my dad, well, my dad was in the music industry. I was pretty stoked on my dad. So, I mean, if he's not proud, then I'm just going to kick his little ass. <laughs> How about your kids? We love beating children. <laughs> Listen to that, <laughs> future child. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. We apologize for that brief interruption. Um, oh, artist vs. Yeah, artist vs. Poet actually knocked our camera over. I hate cameras. <laughs> I'm just saying. Telling us we can't air that CPS picture. <laughs> a lot of people know you went through a lineup change recently. Could you maybe talk about for people who don't know what happened and how that's going to change the band here in the future? Um, yeah. Well, it was kind of a kind of a sad day just because me and Craig started this band and it was just me and him for a while, a long time. Um, but you know, it's all still in good terms. He's going to school now, and uh, we've just kind of uh, adjusted to it. Is it weird without one of your old members, though? Uh, actually, there's a lot more room on stage. <laughs> there is. That is neat. I don't get really hit by guitars anymore. Yeah, we get hit by guitars all the time. You guys covered the Lady Gaga "Bad Romance," right? Yes. Okay, so what was it like to cover Lady Gaga's "Bad Romance"? And I guess what was your inspiration <laughs> to decide on that song? I guess Gaga is just a badass. Um, true. She writes like. She's had on that on her album. She had what eight singles? Yes. Not nah. eight number one singles. Or yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it was kind of a no-brainer. Have you had a bad romance? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here and there, here and there, yeah. here and there. But uh, <laughs> but it's no. The song's about wanting that bad romance. Yeah, you, want right. want, want, you, want that, you want that vertical stick? You know what I'm saying? What? I think it's a different song. No, it's not. Oh. It says that. Yeah, it oh, says it? I want your vertical. Stick. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking of disco stick. We say vertigo Lucky. kiss because that would be really gay if we said that. <laughs> yeah. We are definitely not fans of vertical sticks. No, we don't like this. <laughs> yeah. You don't want any vertical sticks? Well, no. <laughs> I'm good on the vertical. Let me see your Lady Gaga. Three, two, one.
You know, you got the claw thing oh, she does. What does she do? I don't even know what like she does. A, you gotta know this. You covered this song. It's like you gotta I just listen to like the music. Cat. You just growl, just cow that cat that my, thing. Uh, I left my meat suit at home. <laughs> now sing something. <laughs> what is the scariest fan experience you've ever had? Besides mm. me. <laughs> um, we were in Burger King this one time, and this dude just came up and was like, "Hey, we're doing an interview later. You want me to sit by? Hey, can I eat your food?" Hey, what's up? No, I'm just kidding. That was me. I saw them at Burger King. <laughs> um, your burger was delicious, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. It was all. It was Thanks for buying that for me. Welcome. Um, he, he. What the fuck? I would like to join Artist vs. Poet. I think I could bring a lot to this band, and I wanted to know what we need to do to get there. Uh, lose the Nikes. Who's uh, the Nikes? <laughs> I like Nikes. I like Nikes, I like Nikes okay. too. That's a new balance. Uh, uh, new Ooh. balance. You gotta wear a new balance. I've got some Walmart Velcro shoes. Okay. That that works for me. I'll upgrade. <laughs> All right, good. Um, grow your hair out. Grow my hair out like super yeah. curly long hair. Yeah, All right. Can you do a fro? It's like the oh, super. Fro. I could do. I could do a super fro. Super fro. Describe the person next to you using one word, and I'm involved in this. Or so describe us in one word. Stalker. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. You hurting my feelings. Come on, man. Fancy sauce. Ooh, that's two words. That's two words. Uh, it's a hyphen. It's a hyphen oh, in there. Fancy sauce. <laughs> and. Refugee. <laughs> I don't even know. First word to get in my head. I'm going to say, um. Rude. Nice. And. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> um. Badass. Nice, dude. Okay. Right, I guess you can't say that. Bad so bad, but. Bad, bad butt. Huh? <laughs> bad oh, bad. Ba what? It's a hyphen. What like if you did change? Or badass. 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 Um, refugee camp. Hyphen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's all hyphen. It's like you suck and I hate you. Best story you can give me that I haven't heard so far. I'm waiting for a good one. I mean. <laughs> What? I came out wrong. Best. I want to hear the best story you can give me. Not that the other ones haven't been good. Uh, 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 okay. All your it's stories have been crap. So <laughs> um, best story. Best story. Ooh. Woo. Go, Kirky. I lost my phone for a week, <clears throat> and I had no idea where it was. That day that he was gonna buy it, it was on Breathe Carolina's bus under a mattress. We don't know why, and we're still unconclusive about what happened that night. The bed mattress. Well, yeah, I slept. I slept. I slept over. I had a summer party with Breathe. Neat. With Breathe Carolina. There's only one bed on that whole bus. <laughs> there wow. were like ten people on that bus. <laughs> I'm not gonna go into details, but <laughs> that's what I'm <laughs> my mom knows everything. <laughs> Chris DeCrew wants to know if you've ever been stalked by a fan. Um. No. <laughs> Never happened, Krista Crew. That is a totally bizarre thing to suggest. All right, guys, we're hanging out here with Artist vs. Poet. We have fought through a broken tripod, a camera that randomly dies, and a possessed stalker to get this to you. Any last words, guys? America. Don't worry, there's plenty more where that came from. Come with me behind the scenes, backstage, and onto the tour bus to meet your favorite stars. We are backstage with Slipknot. I am here with my good friend, the American Idol, Chris Allen. I'll ask questions you've never heard before and show you the answers you won't find anywhere else. You said you're a Justin Timberlake fan. No. No? no. I mean, that wasn't you? Uh my god, I shouldn't have smoked all that weed. What do you like about Katy Perry? Everything. Happy so birthday, dear Bri. Huge meaning or self-defining sort of thing. I think we just lost one of our interviews. Rate, comment, and subscribe for new videos every week. Reporting for YouTube. I'm Brian O'Dell. Brian Stars! Brian Stars! I'm the reason you're, you go on tour. You're the reason I'm here, baby.